Hello everybody, my name is Bama123 and I'm back with a crazy video guys. This is absolutely insane, alright? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get past this annoying your Netflix household is blocked. Um, So basically I'm going to be showing you guys how to go past this. It's actually very crazy. Netflix, please don't come after me. Um, uh, Maybe, I don't know, just like just don't come after me guys so i'm gonna be showing you guys how to get past this annoying screen so you know you you go on to netflix in a different uh, country different house or something you want to watch netflix but the screen comes up you can't even watch it on your own account so to get past past this guys i'm going to show you guys a crazy method all right and it's pretty consistent if you can time it uh fairly well and uh, i'll show you i'll be showing you guys two methods to get past this the first one um you can basically it's going to be more like controllable and the second one is going to be less controllable but it's going to be way more consistent you'll get what i'm what i mean when i show you guys all right so this is going to be crazy before i get i start make sure to lick the lick button lick the subscribe button so let's get right into it now uh, without wasting any more time so the first thing you guys want to do is when you open up the browser and you go into netflix and you press your account this page will come up right and obviously if you click this it's going to tell you to uh do some you know like you have to you know go to your phone or whatever we don't want to do that right first thing is go into the the kind of the open section here and you're going to right click and click on inspect once you do this it's going to come up with this page right so this is actually just an html screen to block it off you're actually still like netflix is still there so if you actually go here right click and click delete element it's going to bring it up here now it's still black so you actually can't click on anything yet so you have to do this a couple more times. So if you actually go up here, whenever it is a full screen, um, like highlighted, you could go ahead, right click, delete that. So it's gonna do like four or five times. So it's gonna be another one, another one until it becomes whiter, right? As soon as it's not dark, then you're good. So you can close out of this, and now you're pretty much good in the hood, guys. But there is another issue. So if you actually go into a show, so let's say I click on this show when you actually try to watch it another block will come up so to get past this block it's actually a little more complicated because if you actually try to get past this like we just did i'm gonna press the delete button here so it's faster delete 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 as you can see you can't actually play it so there's no actual ui here so you can actually press play or anything like that i think you can skip forward and stuff and change the volume but you're actually unable to play it i'm going to be showing you guys two methods to get past this right but you're going to need some few things to actually do the first method the first method you're going to go into your windows so if it's windows 11 windows 10 whatever you're going to go into your search windows and you're going to type in network status so you're going to click on this network status guys and then it's going to bring this up next what you're going to want to do is click on change adapter options and it's going to bring this page up all you're going to need is the actual internet so yours will be different mine is the ethernet if you're on wi-fi you can actually just go ahead in your bottom right i think it's probably the wi-fi button and just turn off your wi-fi it'll be a lot easier but if you're on ethernet like i am you're going to want to go to here the network adapter options and then you're going to close out of this then you're going to need one more thing you're going to go down here right click click task manager then you're going to click on performance and then you're going to go ahead and click on the resource open resource monitor at the bottom here i don't know if it's the same on windows 11 but it should be the open resource monitor go ahead and click on that and that should open another page i don't know where it opened there it is behind right here and you're gonna need this so you're gonna see a bunch of things here you're gonna want to make sure the threads are the highest so it's gonna be on default highest and you're gonna go to your browser so i know i'm using chrome if yours is mozilla firefox yours will be different minus chrome go to the highest one on chrome if you want you can press c oh press c and it should go to the highest one unless you have something else let's use the c um but make sure it's the highest one on here so that's actually your browser because there might be a couple uh other ones which you don't want make sure it's highlighted you're going to right click it and click suspend but you're going to keep it here don't move this so you're going to need this up for timing purposes so you do this pretty fast so i have another monitor here but you won't be able to see it so i'm going to keep it on the first monitor and try to do it as fast as possible so the method here is first you're going to click refresh or whenever you open the the show uh, you're going to basically want it to you want to disable your internet your ethernet here so you're going to right click click disable whenever the loading screen pops up 
So you're going to have to do this fairly fast. So I'm going to click refresh and then right click and disable on the loading screen. Once you click uh, disable, you want to go here and click your suspend. All right. So boom, boom, boom. All right. So now it's going to see loading forever. The reason why you want to suspend here is uh, because if you don't and you try to enable it again, if it loads for too long, you will see an error screen, uh, which means that um, you didn't suspend it fast enough. Now it's going to go forever. So if you actually click enable now, you're going to have to wait. So the reason why is because it takes a while here for Ethernet, at least for Wi-Fi, it probably takes faster. So you might not need to actually do the suspend, but this is a more consistent way. So once your Ethernet is back up, it says network, then you're in. What you want to do is you want to resume it, but you have to be pretty quick with this as well. You're going to need to resume the process and then you're going to need to suspend the process when it comes back up. So when you resume it, and right away, oh, see that I missed the, the timing. So we're going to do this again. Those are our second attempt. You want to go fairly fast here. You want to resume it and then click on suspend whenever you see it come back up. As soon as you see it come back up, suspend, as you see, it'll freeze your screen. Let it play for around five seconds or so. And as you see, it'll your Chrome might stop responding, but that's because it's suspended. Go ahead and resume it and you'll be in. So as you see, the block is not there like we saw in the first time. And it's pretty good. Now you could go ahead, skip through, and watch it however you want. What's cool about this method as well is that once you're actually through this, oh, this is actually a, like a, a documentary, so it doesn't work. But if this is a show and you want to binge it, you could actually go here, and there'll be another option, and you can actually press through the other episodes, and it won't uh, block it. You could, it'll be completely like normal. It'll only show the block again if you go back to the main page. So that's the first method. I'm going to be showing you guys the second method. So let me go ahead and show you that. So I'm going to be showing you guys the second method now. So let's go on any show and you're going to let it play like normal. Once you get to this page, you're going to go ahead and do the same thing as before and delete all of the things. And it'll be a screen. It might look like the actual show or it might be black. So you're going to make it play. So you can actually right click here. That close the inspect, you're gonna do control control shift and I and they'll bring back back bring back up the inspect element. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on console here and in the typing thingy, you're gonna write let video equals to I have it right here. So it's document a query selector and then bracket quotations video bracket um and you're going to close it off like that. Press enter and then you're going to do video.play and in brackets and it's going to play the show. And then if the reason why this one isn't as good is because if you go on full screen here, you can actually pause it by clicking or spacebar. You can go ahead with the, uh, I'm going to close it. So you can go forward or backwards with your arrow keys and upwards and downs will upward and downwards but your arrow keys will also change the volume but if you want to pause it you're gonna to have to do uh, inspect element go here and write video pause like that and i'll pause it so it's not as easy and you're gonna to have to do this every single time on every single episode or uh movie so that's why the first method i find it better if you're binging a show because you only have to do it once and it will work out for all the episodes after as long as you don't go back to the home page so this is how you get past the actual netflix block build the block guys i can't speak but this is, uh, this is actually crazy guys make sure to subscribe because this is absolutely insanity guys absolutely insane this took me so very long to f figure out and this is my my certified brown man one two three method guys oh, I, I have figured out the first method i've seen the second method online but i have not not seen anyone do the first method and the first method is fairly consistent guys and it works for ethernet wi-fi anything any internet your grandma's internet your neighbor's internet everybody's internet all right so i hope you guys enjoy hopefully netflix doesn't come after me guys please guys i'm innocent i didn't do nothing wrong guys um and anyway guys i'll see you guys in the next video